The Personal Health Informatics program is for students who are interested in using technology to reinvent healthcare. Technology creates an opportunity for us to transform our healthcare system into ways that are unlike what we know today, where it's very personal and tailored and with you all the time, helping you stay healthy, helping you achieve goals. So I run the Communication Analysis and Design Laboratory here in the Department of Speech-Language Pathology. And our main focus is on developing new technologies that help people with communication disorders. On our symbol path system, the user makes a continuous path through words on the screen to create messages. Mom helps me. So children who are having difficulty vocalizing could use this as almost like a game to say their sentence. Needs more time. A lot of things that get designed for healthcare get designed either from a perspective of someone who's really technical or from the perspective of someone who's really interested in healthcare. So I was really excited about the interdisciplinary aspect of the program and being able to combine those two perspectives. We create animated health providers that simulate face-to-face -face conversation between doctors and patients and nurses and patients. I am here to help you with the discharge process here at Boston Medical Center. What we've developed has the potential for having very large impact on the population. Tell me more about how you are feeling. Because these automated systems are low cost and they can be easily replicated and they can be used by a wide range of people. I want to review some information with you. We have funding from several organizations, including the National Cancer Institute, National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, the Hood Foundation, National Science Foundation, and, and others. So I work in the area of mobile health, and our goal is to design new technologies that understand what people are doing so that we can create new types of health interventions that help people stay healthy. We use a variety of different types of sensors, some commercial and some we've developed, and those can be worn throughout your everyday life. Go ahead and keep that pace up. The goal would be to build persuasive technologies to provide you very tailored, person-specific feedback that help you achieve some sort of health-related goal. So we recently completed a study where we examined how social computing tools can help teens to be advocates for healthy eating in their social networks. Um, and part of that involved conducting participatory design workshops. We're in the early stages of developing a mobile application that will allow families to document their physical activity and share that with other families in their neighborhood. So I'm an experimental psychologist interested in working with electrical engineers and computer scientists to develop technologies for measuring human behavior in natural settings. And I'm particularly interested in working with individuals with autism spectrum disorders. And so this enables us to get information on physical activity, temperature. One of the things we do a lot of work with is uh, psychophysiological sensing technology. So we do a lot of measurement of uh, electrodermal activity. The extent to which we can apply that to human behavior and development in health, I think we will have a paradigm shift in the interface between computing and health. We're looking for the type of student who wants to reinvent the healthcare system. Computer scientists, engineers, students from psychology, students in the various health professions. My background is in diagnostic imaging and I've worked it for a number of years in healthcare settings in both industry and in a hospital setting. I personally worked with uh, kids for a number of years and I think that that uh, real world experience helps inform the types of questions we ask, the types of research that we do. As an industrial designer, I have a unique perspective um, thinking about the aesthetics and the feel of the technology that we're designing and not just the function. My dream is to build technology to make it easier for patients and providers to navigate our healthcare system. Long term, I'd like to have a design firm that works with clients with disabilities and um, works for other companies that design technology for people with disabilities. I hope to be able to get an appointment as a professor at a research university and continue to do research and teach, uh, likely with a focus on children on the autism spectrum. We're excited about the prospect of having students go out into the world to become the next generation of researchers in personal health informatics and ultimately have a substantial impact on the health of the U.S. population. The best research starts with the best questions, and our job as researchers is to come up with the best answers.